But crews have to figure out how to treat those roads ahead of our spring blizzard. McKelly White live at I-25 and 20th with a closer look at the preps this morning. The road surfaces are warm. That's good for a bit, right? <laughs> Alan, you know what? Yeah, it may not look like much out here right now. It actually is pretty nice out here, but come later today, we will see snow. We're going to see a lot of that snow. Now, yes, as you mentioned, this nice weather kept CDOT crews from treating highways ahead of previous storms. So uh, this morning, they have all their trucks loaded, ready to go, ready to spray down de-icer just like the last storm. Plow drivers in Denver spent yesterday prepping their equipment ahead of today's early wake-up call about 100 plows will be de uh, deployed in total in the metro area today and the city looked at the impact of last month's bomb cyclone to help them get ready for today's blizzard. One of the things we're doing is we're readying some of our heavier equipment in case we're dealing with snow drifts. One of the things we saw last storm is in some areas we were getting drifting snow, so it's deeper in some parts than others. Um, as a result of the storm, we're going to have a lot of uh, pothole uh, complaints called in. We're going to be out there as soon as we can uh, to do pothole repairs. And we've also been following updates all morning from CDOT. They are urging drivers to stay off the roads if they don't have to be out. So again, uh, your avoid, uh, please avoid the roads during the storm this afternoon, especially the uh, during, um, particularly along I-25 corridor at Monument Hill. For now, we are live in Denver. McKellia White covering Colorado first. McKellia, thanks for covering that for us. If you hope to head out of town.